Hello family and thank you for coming again to the channel Dale Chanel's 40s World where we co-host with the family affair and that's you all okay yes I had told y'all some time ago it broke the story out about Miss Eva she ain't gonna be with us too much longer and sure enough the writing came on the wall she thought she would teaming up with some people to get rid of Nene and anybody else I guess and look who went out the door look who went out the door folks Cha and did Portia have anything to do with that? I want I want to did she y'all did she have anything to do with it? Honey, I guess when things got tough and hot, you left the kitchen, Eva, honey. I you left the kitchen. You thought you were doing something on that reunion and on season twelve. Did Marlo have something to do with it, guys? Do you think she put something in Andy's coins ear and say, get rid of Eva because she ain't nothing. She just dead weight. She just like a ball and chain wrapped around somebody's leg and just holding us down from progressing upward, okay? Somebody took the note, or it could have been those comments she made about women on the show, meaning her co-workers, her colleagues, her constituents, you as you may say. She called them nappy-headed. You know what I'm saying? I'm like... We already asked Eve a long time ago was she a colorist. Did she think all that light skinness and half having a half white parent and a half black parent and you know she coming out on a lot of spectrum of things was doing it for her. You know what I'm saying? Child, and then she told me she got some hood in her. No, Eva. You just showed that you was pretty much biased and pretty much i would say didn't like your own color unless they came in cream or beige you didn't like your sisters okay because you definitely sure wouldn't have been saying take your nappy head itself somewhere and sit it down and you said these to women i can see if you're talking about your children they were in hell at you you know what i'm saying that has come out of my mama's mouth and you know my hair was kind of straight at the time but i was acting bad as hell and i had a brother you know, who's acting bad, too. And, you know, things like that came out of the mother's mouth sometimes. When she, you know, wasn't close to her shoes. Where she could throw them at you. Or, you know, anything she can just, who switches, you know, back there in the day. Anybody knew about that? Ooh, I do. I do, honey. Because I know I got beatings a lot. I got beatings a lot. And I ain't have nobody to call. <laughs> I should have just been calling the Lord. But anyway, I was bad, Lord. Gonna probably say, child, you were bad. You deserve everything you get, okay? But the Jasmine brand also showbiz sheet, sheet sheet. Also, a lot of other vloggers have caught the tea that Eva dismissed herself. She say. Now I'm just going on what she say. Because everybody has their own story. Then there's a true story out there, but we have to go through so much bullshit. We don't know when and where we're gonna get to the true tea. Okay, unless we got an insider that can tell us what really went down in the Bravo camp. Okay, but as we all know, who are viewers of the show, we all know even one giving us nothing but pretty much how to care for yourself when you're pregnant. And, you know, definitely got to eat, you know, when you need to. Uh, and that's how she could really teach us or show us how to have a baby. You know, and be comfortable and, and make sure you get plenty, plenty of food in it and hydration going on. Other than that, she didn't show us her political side because she's claiming to fight. Or did Marlo have something to do with it? Girl, the can have something. Did Cynthia have something to do with the demise of um, Eva being put off the show? I got carried away. I just had to throw that in now. And Andy Cohen, listen, honey, I bet Kenya was up there saying, get rid of Eva. She don't really need You know, we always think about Nene doing the bad stuff, getting in somebody's ear here and there. Or oh, hell, it could have been her hub saying, baby, you don't need this show. It's too ratchet. Get on off of it. Because Cynthia ain't going to be there. Because <laughs> that's the other person they say going to be going somewhere else. Or going to be taking a friend slot instead of a real full-time peach holder slot. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. That may be coming to uh, pass as well. But to me, that's a good thing for Cynthia. To become a friend of the show. Because she's not really based here all the time. Here in Atlanta. She need to be out there with her. Uh, semi steel Whip behind the ears. Daughter. Young daughter. Out there with Mike Hill. I'm just saying. Keeping it close. You're trying to keep your eyes on everything. Everything. Because we don't know. We don't know what Mike is capable of. Okay. But anyway. Just throwing that out there. Just for edification. For people that really want to catch that hint. Um, 
Where was I going? I forgot. I had my train of thought going. Ah, when you hit your 50, your 50, when you hit 52. <laughs> hey, when you hit your late 40s. Shit be going now. You don't write shit now. You forget it in a minute. But I know we still talking about evil. But y'all came about the culture. She talking about, she going to throw her spin and now say she wanted to leave. You know, Real Housewives of Atlanta just, you know, wasn't up to her expectations. I mean, it was good. It was good for them two seasons you was on, right? You bought a house or you um financed a house. Uh, with that Real Housewives of Atlanta chick, okay? I, yeah, you did that, Evil, or did you just lease it and making us think something else? Because I know if you cut yourself down to Dallas where the Rick and Smiley show is um, housed at, I think, uh, girl, that means you just leased the house. You didn't really buy nothing. You led us to believe, you know, that's what you had did. I mean, just, you, you kind of lying like Claudia Jordan. And we see how Claudia Jordan went. Uh, I don't know if she was on the Rick and Smiley show first and then she came to Real Housewives of Atlanta was vice versa. But either or, she didn't stay more, more than two years and she was gone out, off the platform. She had to hightail it back to Los Angeles and Los Angeles and find some other gig. Now she's on Fox Soul trying to be, uh, I don't know, an investigative reporter or commentarist where she gets people to talk about a particular subject and, and matter and, you know, whatever. But anyway, that's what she's doing now and now. And I'm sure she ain't making what she was making probably on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But then again, she probably was making meager because she wasn't bringing too much to the show either. She was trying to catch a little, uh, a clamp on to something, but it just wouldn't hold anything. I mean, even wasn't giving us anything. I mean, you can go back and forth, whatever. But she was just being a true hater of the black community. When it came to the the black woman's looks, if you didn't have like straight wavy hair, natural wavy hair, he would look at you like I don't know a kinky nappy headed something, you know. And I'm like, I, that's why I didn't get with Eva too much. I'm like, now you went to an all black school, Clark Atlanta, you know. <sighs> well, it was all black at the time, you know what I'm saying, or HBCU. But you know, I'm like, what did you learn? You ain't no. You ain't no better than your Yvonne. Shit, I'd rather have Yvonne on the show than you. If we had to just put between the two of you, I would like giving you Yvonne. Because she wasn't acting all that. You know, she wasn't calling nobody nappy head and all that kind of stuff. You calling people nappy head even. You thought that was just going to go under the rug? Go swept under the rug? Oh, no, honey. You offended people. You hell, you offended me. Because I got a tight curl. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nappy. It's just a tight curl. But our mothers and our grandmothers and stuff of that nature, they told us it was nappy. But, you know, we went with that. But as we got politically correct uh, in the 80s and 90s, it, we, we changed it to a tight, natural curl. So, evidently, you didn't get the memo on that, Eva. But, you know, and then you just, you know, disrespecting, calling people grandmas and all that. I mean, yeah, you could be a grandma now 20 years old, you know. Depending on how fast your kids out there trying to uh, procreate, you know what I'm saying? But usually we look to our grandmas in the 60s and 70s, you know what I'm saying? But you calling any old grandma running around there and itch and all that kind of, you know, it's just too much. You was giving off too much. And then Candy going to boss up along with you on the reunion and call Nene and you all kinds of crazy names. I'm like, girl, you got a mother. Girl. Where are you coming from? You and Kenny just got on my nerve for season 12. But anyway, it just is what it is. But yes, we have come to the past of putting Eva out to pasture. Because she felt that she needed to get with her culture. She needs to do a lot more than being on a ratchet TV show. And spending all her time being taken up with, you know, the show's tape. I'm like, you ain't had to do that for probably four or five months. Maybe six tops of uh marketing the show as well as filming the show what the hell you talking about eve because you're gonna definitely have to clock in every day at a radio station they want you there on time okay it's no time for you to be showing up late no they want you there but you know you might go on like claudia joy and get fired over there too because what's that lady name that uh they didn't renew her contract mimi what's her name the, the uh short uh we call them little people what her name, Miss Minnie? You know, Ricky Smile Show. Oh, oh, Okay, so uh, Miss Minnie's one that died, so excuse me, people. But she was cute, too. But, uh, 
And they renewed her contract. But anyway, Miss Juice is what I'm talking about. You see how Rick and Smiley stood up for her, right? Damn, I like you, hush. <laughs> okay. But anyway, yeah, you see how they got rid of Miss Juicy? They gave her the same contract <laughs> with no raise detail for anything. And of course, as I'm thinking, they took over the Tom Morning, um, Jordan, Tom Jordan Morning Show. They moved the show out to Dallas, Texas. So that will require, you know, Miss Eva having to have to move. And you remember, well, you probably don't remember, but if you go through my archives, I did a, a video on Ricky Smiley taking over the uh, Tom Jordan Morning show and making it his own and all the cast members who's gonna stay who's gonna go and i had predicted that miss eva was not gonna be on the real housewives of atlanta because she was just too boring now you see how that worked out see how that worked out now she ain't got a choice but the damn go so i'm like are you gonna be commuting from atlanta to dallas that's a oh that's a toe holder row girl that's a a toe holder row a tough holder row Oh, girl, I don't know what you're going to do. So, it's going gonna, it, it gonna to make us all pause to see if she truly has a house in Atlanta. Because I'm like, you just moved in the house about four months ago. How you going to say, uh, it, it just don't make sense. So, I'm not even going to go too into that detail for her to come out and say something else. But, it seems like she's on this same little choo-choo train that Claudia Jordan was on. And she's forgetting she never would have been on the Rickless Smiler show in this nation if it wasn't for Portia throwing her a bone. Because see, Portia was going on maternity leave. She was doing that right fine. She wanted to have some time before her baby got him and plan for it for her and, and to uh, get the nursery together and just get her mind right. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're having a baby, that's a whole nother different, ooh, that's a whole different other situation to be in if you, are, if you have had kids in the past. Uh, or you, you know, you just recently had one. You know what I'm talking about. That's some pain involved. That's mental, body, and soul. Ooh, child, is this, ooh, that's a hot mess when you're going through that child labor and that birthing pain. Ooh, but anyway, yeah, honey, Eva thought she just cut to the chase and say, "I'm going to create my own narrative, and I don't need y'all Bravo to be spilling the beans." So let me go out there and say what I got to say. But I'm pretty sure they want to bring Eva back more than likely. But she wasn't coming back as a full-time peach hole. It's going to be a demotion for her. She would never confess to it. She would never know. But probably somebody in the camp of the camp's camps of the who who knows what what. It'll probably come out. Just give it some time. It'll come out. Hell, she might tell it because Eva run her mouth like that. But, yes, we're going to see. We're going to see if Eva springs up and spend, be spending most of her time in Dallas, Texas. Okay? But we, we don't know. But I'm like... The brat don't like her either because the brat hated that she said something negative about Portia's baby. Y'all remember that whole thing saying Portia baby looked like Dennis with a bow? You know, and for people that really thought Dennis was ugly, that was an offensive thing. But, you know, I thought Dennis was okay. He looked like a little drunk to I me, mean, you know, but it's just you what it is. You know, like a little lazy drunk, but he'll get out there and make that money. But, you know. It just is what it is, but I, you know, I never thought Dennis was a uh, ugly man. So I kind of thought it was a compliment, cause sometimes we do want our children to favor their dads. You know what I'm saying? As well as their moms, like a little swirl with it, but it just is what it is. But yeah, Eva came out and tried to clock her own to and Ain't nobody buying this shit. Ain't nobody buying it. I'm like, honey, did the women get rid of you? Did they talk up behind your back saying they don't want you? They need raises. And if they cut your salary out, everything will be peachy king. Did Kenya Moore try to go uh, finesse a higher pay raise? And she just said, well, you didn't, we didn't need you because you wasn't really in season 12 anyway. Because you was out there lounging, having your baby and calling in. Like you some big executive, you know, almost like a Kim Zosiac, can't participate and go on trips. You had to always be conveniently pregnant at the time. So you see where that shit got you, Eva, right? The door. All right. How do you need to say the door is closed? But let's get on into this article. I don't tear it a little bit too long. I just had to get my little spill in it. Because, see, Eva's not one of my favorite people. After she made that nappy headed comment, I was done with her that day. She was boxed up closed wasn't even being put a ribbon on she just got like you know how you just pick up pack up stuff with some uh taping box taping tape on you you know the box or whatever your 
sealing something up with and you just throw it to the back of the closet. That's how we got Eva. That's how we saw Eva. That's how we're seeing Eva at this time, okay? She's non-relevant. But anyway, Jasper Brand brought it out. We're going to talk about her article. Uh, a TJB writer, Atlanta, um, put out the article. They titled it Exclusive. Eva Marcel will not return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm thankful for the opportunity. Okay, because you don't want to burn no bridges. I know you have to do the politically correct type of uh speech when it comes to your demise of a career with real housewives of atlanta because those women really didn't do too much to earn the kind of money that they're earning okay because they got got, real housewives of atlanta get paid some money the cast members oh yes they do but to get the top dollar you got to act a fool you got to go around and cooning on them television uh screens and saying and doing ungodly stuff you know what i'm saying and then you got to make it where you're likable. All right. You're, what do you call it? Not exceptional in your craft or what you're trying to do. Because that will require acting. And none of these women have acting skills. Okay. Mm-mm. They don't fall in trying to become an actress or an actor. No, no, no. We ain't talking about that. But to just play a scenario, play it to the best of their ability, okay. Because none of them have taken acting classes. Nene called herself doing it at one time. But, you know, I guess that's what she thought she was going to be on TV. Being a true actress, you know, in a sitcom of some sort. But we see how that worked out. She ain't been asked uh, to do anything that I know of that she would have been tooting her horn about. Uh, she's been doing interviews. I think they go to her first to do interviews at these um, higher platforms, such as like you know, the Wendy Williams Show, Entertainment Tonight, um, was it Buzz, Buzzfeed or something like that? Just really, you know, the View, uh, the Talk, the Real, you know, platforms, gossip, entertainment platforms such as that. Uh, than being on YouTube and a, a, a vlogger doing it, uh, the type of work that you would see on those other platforms that I just mentioned, you know. So um, you can say whatever you want to say about Nene, but she holding that that title strong, and she did try to exit out stage left and do some other things, but she saw that it was not as fruitful as the Real Housewives of Atlanta was paying her, and she quietly came over, got in the good graces of Cynthia. Brought her back on the screen. And she's been living on the Real Housewives of Atlanta Hall for the longest. Okay. But anyway. We go into the article. It says that Eva Marcel will not return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. An exclusive statement to us. She states. And she did this on uh, Ricky Smile the Morning Show today. Yes, the 16th. Uh, what is it? Uh, the tea with Gary or Gary with the tea. He pr- pretty much brought it on and then let her have her say. But I'm like, girl, you think Ricky Smiley and Gary with the tea, your friends? <laughs> you better ask Miss Juicy. You better ask Miss Juicy girl over there, okay? That's not with them. Gary, I probably still ain't called her to this day. All right. But they weren't trying to keep her. So it's just really who like you and what you're giving. And by you saying evil, you're doing it for the culture. You want to go into another type of platform or setting or environment to be the real person that you were meant to be. Girl, please. Girl, did your your camera call get you fired, girl? (laughs) Did your ass get you fired over there, girl? But anyway, moving on to the article. She goes on to say she appreciates the bond of friendship that I had with or she had made with several of her castmates and the strong personal relationships I had with numerous executives and producers at the Bravo and Truly Entertainment companies. Oh, you still kissing their ass, Eva, thinking you may get a reprieve and they may ask you back. Girl, please, that door is closed, okay? And Nene Lisa's words, the door is closed. So, don't think you're going back to them. Because unless you come and you bring a real terror out there in them streets. And you don't, uh, I don't know. Maybe you become a political giant with your husband. Because he was in the ring of being someone in the government sector. But I don't know what happened. I guess he's still going to be a lawyer. 
until he can maybe accomplish it. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what you're going to be doing either. But you calling yourself being a part of the culture. You going around here calling black women nappy heads and all this kind of stuff. That mm, That's not going to work real well. And it's not going to look good political for your husband when he has you on his arm. People are not going to. Uh, they're not going to forget about it either. They're going to come up and it's going to be in his. Uh, if he starts to run for another government official office. You know, you're going to have to answer for that. That's just something that's going to go down in the history books. And you're always going to be hit with that question. Of, are you a colorist? Or do you not like your black uh, or darker skin tone sisters in the uh, black race? You know, it's going to come. Eve. It's going to come. And, you you know, you ain't good at hide, hiding your emotions or your facial expressions. So, it's going to tee you off. So, yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe you... I, I don't know what to tell you to do. Okay, ride the horse as long as you can with Ricky Smiley. But like I said, don't don't pay too much. But he going to keep you. Because if they say they don't want you because you're bringing too much negative baggage, you're going to be gone. Okay, and ain't Ricky ain't going to be able to say anything because it's not his show. I mean, it's his show, but it's not his true platform. It's somebody else higher than him that gives the green light on who goes, who stays, who gets the better raise, who gets no raise. Okay? So, I don't know. It seems like you might be taking Miss Juicy's place. <laughs> and if you don't spice things up up there where you become a little bit more likable in the social media realm, street tiny, you may find yourself out of entertainment, period. Okay? And, and you really won't be missed. You, you have more time to spend with your family and, and doing family stuff. Okay? I'm just saying. But, um... She goes on and give, pays homage to um, thanking Bravo Entertainment, uh, True Entertainment, for inviting her and letting her be on their platform, even though it was just a two measly years. But like I said, it was enough to buy a house because you couldn't buy one when it you were doing, I don't know where you were before you got on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I, I don't know. I know you weren't doing no top model and stuff, but it just is what it is. And even Andy shaded you when you're trying to throw this real high-priced fancy wedding. And he was saying, girl, are you serious? You, you made that much money in a day from doing a modeling gig? He didn't even believe you either. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, I am thankful for the opportunity I was provided. However, after speaking with my family, I'm like, girl, what family? I mean, you talk to your mama or, or your husband? Because I know you weren't talking to your children. Asking what you should do. Because, you know, they're going to always say, Mom, we want you at home. We want you to spend more time with us. You know they're going to come up with that song and dance. So who, who, what, what family were you talking to, boo? What family were you talking to? But anyway, that's just my sidebar. But she goes on to say she had to speak with her family and representatives. I believe that what I hope to accomplish for the culture and the community will, will be better served by focusing on other opportunities. And I'm like, when did you become an advocate of anything, Eva, other than yourself and having babies? Okay. What advocation are you doing for the black race, for the black movement? I'm, I'm confused, okay? Portia Williams doing a lot more than you, and we were still hung up on that Underground Railroad thing she had in her mind back in season. I think it was three or four. So we let that go either. We chicken and chuckle about that because we, we don't fell in love with Portia, okay? And Portia done grew on us, all right? And she definitely has matured in a lot of different ways. But Eva, you know, you always played the role. Like you would say things, you would boss up. But then people ask you, once we need you to speak the truth in front of everybody and the one that you was offending, you had to backpedal and, 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 and retract shit and say, I ain't said that way. Then they turn around and show a replay of it and you be done said that and then some. I'm like, girl, see, that's why I'm, mm -mm, they ain't missing you. Your co-workers are not missing you, won't miss you. And I don't even really know if you had any true fans. I mean, maybe you just need to get back into makeup. Um, but did you, did you ever do your makeup? See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what. Uh, girl, I don't, be a model because you definitely got the look. You still got the look, baby. Maybe you could do that. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Be a cosmetic brand ambassador or something. Something dealing with looks. Um, it, it would probably feature you better, but uh, and I understand why you're not in the modeling world anyway because you liked it at one point, it, it gave you a lot of opportunity to meet a lot of people in the industry. Um, but I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, Eve, I can't help you out. 
But anyway, going back to the article, it says, um, I look forward to serving my community on the Wrigley Smile and Morning Show and finding ways to be a voice during the transformation time in our country for people of color. Okay, like, are we talking about black people, Eve? What, what people of color are you talking about? Because, you know, we're either African American or we're black. You know what I'm saying? So, girl, you still can't get it right. And don't be putting the culture and, like, V103 is doing, Ricky Smiley Show is doing, and other urban type radio uh, platforms out there are speaking to the masses of what's going on out there. Because, Eva, Eva, Eva the Diva, girl. I don't think you're that in touch with what's going on out there. Okay? I, I, I just don't. Not when you call folk nappy heads and shit. And people flaunting their uh, their glory, their hair in natural ways. You know, they, they would take you offensive. Girl. Girl, go somewhere. But anyway. The uh, article goes on to say, Eva joined the show in 2018 during season 10. And it goes on to uh, end the um, article by saying, what are your thoughts about Eva's departure from the show? Let us know in the comments. So I'm asking you all, who do y'all think got Eva fired? Or who conspired against Eva to be fired so they can uh, have a better salary uh, gain with her being gone since it was excess money left? You know what I'm saying? Or who do you think they're going to bring in to replace Eva? Because if they were paying her a nice salary, they can probably bring two people on. I don't think it's going to be Phaedra because, like I said, she's starring on Marriage Boot Camp with her so-called boyfriend, uh, Medina Islam, or Islam Medina, somebody like that, okay? But uh, I don't know who else would be fitting to come back because I, I don't want to see nobody from the past. Damn sure I don't want to see Kim. Don't want to see Sheree. I want to see somebody new. I want somebody else to come on and, and, and boss up and be that chick. <coughs> Definitely don't want you, Vonna. But uh, and then you got Cynthia. That's plausible that she's leaving, or uh, she may become a friend of the show. Uh, then that's two two good uh, full time uh, peach slots open. That they can bring probably three people on as friends. Yes, I don't know, but y'all get down in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all thought about this particular subject matter. Do you really think Eva is a colorist? Do you really think she don't like her darker skinned sisters in our race, the black race? Do you really think she doesn't like her race that she's in? I mean, there's so many questions we could be asking and just dialoguing because we really don't know. You know what I'm saying? We don't know really what evil be saying behind closed doors about us dark skinned women. Okay. Honey, baby, get down in the comments and let me know how you feel. Speak out. Okay. And I will see y'all next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the videos. Peace.